Merry Christmas. Danae and I had the opportunity to enjoy time together in the many places we love throughout this year. While this season of life has not provided as much time to get away, it has provided quality experiences. From hiking around our home in Leadville to experiencing more of Alaska, where our son and daughter-in-law live, our time in the wild and weather has added to our long list of memories. One of our great experiences this year was when our son flew us around the Kenai Peninsula in Alaska. Flying over the glaciers, ice fields, and mountains was exciting, but made even more so because our son took us there doing what he loves, flying. In April and again in August, we hiked and pack raft from Kenai to Denali. We don't think you could ever exhaust the enjoyment of Alaska. Our time in Leadville has become more enjoyable as we've made local friends. We found new trails and visited those we love so much from Lost Creek, Hope Pass, Slide Lake, and countless others. <laughs> Danae and I celebrated our 29th wedding anniversary in June. We wanted to stay close to home as we were awaiting the arrival of our first grandchild. So we did what we did in the old days. We went down to Galveston and visited old haunts to celebrate 35 years of adventure together and 29 years of marriage. We also made short escapes to Uray, Colorado, Asheville, North Carolina, London, England, and numerous weekends in Colorado. One of the interesting weekends in Leadville was the annual ski drawing event. Skiers pulled behind a horse, jumping and catching rings. It's a fun Leadville tradition. Being outside is wonderful, but being with friends and family, even more so. We both treasure our friendships, and so after a couple of pandemic years, we were glad to get back to a more regular schedule of spending time with others. The ladies, or should I say the road dogs, celebrated two decades of adventure with some long weekends together in North Texas, Lake Texoma. It's a tradition that they are grateful to continue. The May Club marked its 28th year, a group of friends I have traveled with for five days a year since 1995. We had an epic time in Moab, Utah, where we four-wheeled on fins, rafted down the Colorado River, and where some of us made the rare excursion into the Blue John Canyon near Hanksville, Utah, a canyon made famous by the movie 127 Hours. Our guides took us deep into the canyon, where only 200 people a year ever visit. I had originally planned to climb Mount Rainier in Washington with my friend Donish Taranya. However, a September shoulder surgery kept me from the goal. In our early training, we did have the opportunity to climb the third largest mountain in the contiguous U.S., Mount Massive. It was great to have time together as we prepared for our bigger adventure, which we hope to accomplish in 2023. Danae and I have enjoyed adventures with friends in the Florida Keys, Las Vegas, and Colorado. Friendship is an intentional practice for us, and this year I wrote my second book, Ancient Friendship for Modern Men, available soon on Amazon. One of the most exciting things in 2022 was the arrival of Sophia Marie Langer, our first grandchild. While we find it hard to believe we're grandparents, we are enjoying every minute of it. As those of you who are grandparents know, there's nothing like it. Sophia is growing up fast and we are trying to take it all in. Sarah and Benedict are incredible parents and they continue to push forward in their careers and supporting others in their community. Don and Aubrey have lived in Alaska for a year now and made a move from the Kenai to Wasilla. Aubrey is working for a financial group based in Wasilla and Anchorage, and Don is working for a new venture, Aircraft Alaska. This spring, Aubrey graduated from college. We are proud of her and her work and accomplishments over the last few years. Danae had a record-breaking year in real estate and continues to enjoy the relationships she's built with those she serves. Mortgage rates may be going up, but she is busier than ever. I'll celebrate 25 years serving the banker family next year, and in 2022, we had a big celebration for the 50th year of the organization. The staff all gathered to honor Al Banker and his family and decades of leadership. I am fortunate to serve with a talented group of people across four different countries. No matter your celebration this holiday season, we hope you'll accept a Merry Christmas from us. We celebrate as we have discovered that Jesus fits perfectly in reality and reason, 
and we encourage you to consider his claims about life. So from us to you, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hope you have a wonderful 2023.